And what did your storyboard process look like as well? So initially we, um, I literally just like found images um, of other movies that like kind of represented just even the bare bones of what the shot would be. So, um, you know, if, they, if, if, if they're on a train, anything that looks like a train would do, you know, as long as it kind of had the angle. Um, and then we slowly kind of um, developed that, um, you know, just to internally see if it worked. And then eventually, like, the, the different side for us is um, that we shot it, quote unquote, live action first um, before beginning the animation. And when I say live action, like really bare bones, you know, just playing quite literally in a backyard. Think um, black box theater. Yes. Yeah. Um, and if anyone wants to speak to that experience, um, have at it. John? Ditto. No. <laughs> not, uh, well, it, it's really, you're just like, you're four and five playing in the backyard. You're just... Because it doesn't matter. Everything that you're doing is, is imaginary anyway, because they're going to fill it in with the animation. So the fun part about that is, it. Uh, oh, this is a sword. And this was our alternative to storyboarding Previous, yeah. and, to be, and making Any it a more of, collaborative process. Right. So Because all they need are the, the outlines of people, and then they can fill in the world with whatever else they need. So it's, it's actually quite freeing in terms of acting. Uh, and it, it incredibly imaginative because everything you're doing is is made up in that moment. There's nothing there. You're just bodies trying to do what you want the animated characters to do. So yeah, and so much of like our animation team, they're incredibly creative, and we are all about opening the doors to them and about them adding their art and their creativity, mm -hmm. but giving them these this framework. Yeah allows them to have their creativity. Yes. You don't just say, oh, I want a scene in a train right. where someone's looking out a window. They could do something with that, but you're going to find more creativity yeah. if you give them, if Phil gives them a reference, yeah. I want it from this angle with showing this emotion because sub the t subtext is I want it to mean this, this, and this. And then he's also bringing the actor and saying, act this out, finding what you can do there. It's... Um, it's not the tradi traditional way of, uh, it takes it out of more of the like artist director hands and it has made it a collaborative process. Um, but it, it was, it's been really fun. And I would like to add, be because they don't have to spend their time creating that angle or whatever it is, they can spend their creative time on actually imagining the world and creating it and that's where their creativity is best used rather than mm -hmm. figuring out so uh, how do I create this person? It's, that form's already there. Yeah. 